Hello everyone, today I'm going to re be reviewing all the items that you saw in the shopmessay.com order. Uh, the links to the website will be in the description box below. Um, tutorials that I've done with all this stuff will be in the description below. And before I forget, there will be swatches, swatches of all the products shown in this video and added in after the product has been talked about. Let's get started. So the first item is the AOA Studio Professional High Def Brush Set. Now I just want to briefly mention this, I'm going to turn it around this way so you can see. That's uh, what the brushes look like, they are dirty, they have been used, they are loved. I did a full in-depth review on these and that will be in the description box below. So definitely check that out, so I'm not going to, I just, I love these. But if you want to see the full review on how they wash, how they work, there's demos in that video up close of the brushes and detail depth talk about them. Um, if you're into that kind of thing, definitely check that video out. Uh, these are great brushes though. Got some face mask stuff here. I did have the milk mask and I'll go ahead and insert a picture of that and mention it briefly. That mask didn't have, um, it had a light scent, very moisturizing and cleansing on the skin um, you leave it on there 10 to 15 minutes and when it's done you know you just rub and uh, pat the rest of the product into your skin and your skin feels so clean and moisturized the next one is this oatmeal oxygen bubble mask and there is two treatments to this and this mask I'll insert some footage of me using it um, sped up but once you get it out of the package and start rubbing it into your skin it starts foaming um, these big oxygen bubbles and it's so nice and refreshing um, and it's it says it makes for bright skin I don't know but it I feel like it really gave me a deep clean like it suggests and the just the formula and the foaming oxygen bubbles were just really awesome experience I haven't tried a mask like that uh, well basically this is just really it's not so much of a mask because you wash it off right away but um, as a face wash thing this is really awesome they have this in oatmeal this is from beauty treats they have this in oatmeal and in peach I do recommend the milk mask and this oatmeal oxygen bubble mask awesome awesome highly highly recommend trying out this oatmeal one the next items just need a brief introduction and talk about as well it's the cuticle revitalizer pen they have these in a bunch of different fragrances and they come colored so this one's rose and it's like a red a light pink red and they don't stain your cuticles or anything like that because they're cute because they're colored but they are very moisturizing to use on your nails after a mani and stuff um, they absorb in the skin pretty quickly and um, they're just nice overall don't pay over a dollar for these because there's a bunch of websites you can get these for a dollar a piece item is this it's from starry and it's the rose hip lip balm honey essence this stuff is the bomb okay this is such a great product it does have a very strong scent you guys um and downside if you have nails you know you're gonna have to get in there but this is so moisturizing and long lasting on the lips like your lips will be moisturized all day after applying this it's it's very very nice highly recommend this product as well they also have this in tube form but yes check this out you guys this is amazing the beauty treats lip scrub I got this in almond cream it's in the pot form because a lot of times the tube form they actually do have on the website is sold out you can get these in all different flavors um, at first I was disappointed with this product because I would rub the top of it try to get some of the grainy product for the scrub on my finger and it wouldn't but basically all you have to do is just keep grinding in it for just a little bit and you'll pick up product the sugar and the like almond shells and stuff in there so yeah this um, works great it's uh LA Colors a Nail Duet and it looks like that because it's been sitting in my review box for a while 
and um but yeah this awesome another awesome product a dollar and you get two nail polishes they pop out like so pop back in um you get a glitter and you get a nice um pale teal kind of robin's egg blue i'll insert pictures on a video of applying it as well this is amazing the perfect spring and summer shade um this would even be pretty on your nails in winter with some snowflakes on top of it or something but i do want to um this lasted and i do dishes sometimes twice a day um i bath a toddler um things like that and this lasted with my milani top coat on about five days without chipping so not bad i do want to talk a little bit about this awesome glitter that you get in here it has it's a holographic glitter and not only does it have small mini micro glitters but it has medium glitters some small hexes in there there's some square glitters and there is diamond shaped glitter i'll try to get a good picture of that um for you guys but that's an awesome glitter, a nice addition to this duo here. And I would recommend trying this one out out of the other um out of all the selection colors that they have. next item is the Amuse Beauty Blush and this is the one in pinks and it has a nice big mirror with a sticker on it um, which you could take off but I'm sure there'll be sticky residue on that but for a dollar I can't really you know whatever um, but you get four nice blushes a couple of them are chalky they're a little bit powdery but for a dollar you get four nicely pigmented blushes you get like a light peachy color like a corally shade and two deeper toned warmer pinks only because I don't have a decent swatch of these but see how like this one's gonna be a little bit chalky and these two are definitely gonna that are they are powdery I've mainly used um, this one and then sometimes I mixed both of those together this one's a little bit too pigmented for my skin tone because um, it's almost on the red side but they are nice overall worth a dollar Next items are the Ellie Colors Trio Lipsticks. I have them in Triple Berry and Love Triangle. So um, basically the idea behind these are they're supposed to be um, ombre, give you an ombre effect without having to use multiple lipsticks. I love the idea, I love the concept. I've been using this one. Um, but yeah, I love the concept behind this. I really do but the downside to these they are long lasting on your lips and it does give you the ombre effect but the downside to these is if you have smaller lips kind of like mine you mainly get just two of the colors on your lips like you'll have to put in effort to get the third lightest color to actually show on in your lip scheme because if your lips are smaller you know they span the entire lipstick area and for the majority of the time, like I said, I get the darkest and medium shade in there and barely any of the light shade, if any at all. Um, but overall, these are really awesome. They're, I love, like I said, I love the concept. They, there's tons to choose from on there and they don't have any like crazy scent or anything. Um, and like I said, swatches and stuff will be inserted highly recommend trying these out as well for a dollar each and they have several to choose from are the lip gloss pout um, lip glosses so I got two of these here and first off I want to say that these are not sticky 
like some lip glosses they don't really have a scent to them i do like the packaging on these it's pr really nice and cute uh, the red-ish one is called Hot Lips, and it's like a red-pinkish color with a blue sheen of glitter in there, or shimmer in there. And this one is called Tantalizing, and it's a purple with kind of like a blue sheen to it. They are pigmented for a gloss, and um, like I said, not sticky, so definitely worth trying for a dollar each. I actually recently ordered more of those. I just waiting on my order. So definitely check those out you guys next items are there are five of these and these are the Ellie colors palette lip gloss mattes now these uh, also they don't have a scent I want to mention that they don't really have a scent to them um, very cute packaging as you can tell I got a lot of the darker shades and one regular like a normal kind of shade and these are so very pigmented. I watched so many re uh, mixed reviews on these and lots of people didn't like them because <clears throat> instead of drying like a regular matte, they stay sticky on your lips. They are overwhelmingly sticky, to be honest. But the pigmentation of these and the long wearing ability definitely keeps me wanting more. I actually bought more, I'm just like I said, waning on my order. These are amazing if you can get past how sticky they are. Because like I said, they don't dry. The only one that I find that dries is this one in Lusty. And it's a red shade. It's a blue toned red. It dries almost completely. There's like no stickiness. Now, these will last all day as long as you're not drinking or eating. But as soon as you do start drinking and eating, they do start to wear. But they'll stay on your outer rim of your lip, which looks really funny. So, you'll have to reapply, which it really isn't a big deal. Um, now, when it comes to removing these, it takes a little bit of scrubbing, I'm not going to lie. And it may possibly stain the outer rim of your lip a little if you go outside of your lip line. So, definitely be careful if you do want to check these out. Um, it is still a product that I would highly recommend trying out from their website because they are amazing, really. Um, I just, I love the pigmentation on these. I can't get past that, so I definitely, I want to try more. And, um, but yeah, overall, you know, if you can get past the stickiness, definitely, like, you probably love them too. Uh, so this one is a raisin kind of color. It's called kiss and tell like i said there'll be swatches of this can doodle is like the mauve pinkish shade uh this one is scrumptious and it's like a dark cherry color this one's kind of the same it's like a darker cherry kind of color and it's called xoxo and lusty is the name of the one um that's blue toned red and it um, isn't very sticky at all almost dries completely so yeah definitely give these a check definitely try these out so moving on to the next few items and they're all eyeshadows so the first one is the LA colors five metallic eyeshadows in unforgettable now, this one, when I first got it, actually in the mail, saw it in, the person, it in person, it reminded me of another palette that LA Colors has out. And that palette is Darling. They are slightly different. This will make a beautiful everyday look. Um, I did film tutorials with all of these palettes. So, those will be in the description box. Check them out. As well as pictures of swatches of these palettes as well. But, um, of course, a couple of the eyeshadows are powdery there's lots of fallout with these they're shimmery as for most of these cheaper palettes anyways they're going to be powdery some of the shades might be chalky and you're going to have fallout with them but overall they're all worth trying for a dollar the next one is from malibu glitz like that this one is called rebel they all came with sponge tip applicators as well as you can see this one is still in here um i really wanted to try uh, this particular brand out i know nothing about the malibu glitz brand 
but the <clears throat> shades I thought would be nice for fall um, every day adding a pop of color to your look and I was right so you get um, one of my favorite things about this palette is it comes with a nice highlighter shade and it's not too shimmery it's technically it's pretty much matte um, your outer corner color one of them is matte um, that's always a nice addition uh, I like that you get some shimmery, bronzy, kind of coppery shades in there, as well as this really bright kind of teal color to just set a look off. And I always like that about palettes. You can do a natural looking eye, you can do a smoky eye, you can do a pop of color eye, you can do a colorful eye technically with this. There's so many possibilities with this. Totally recommend this. Um, the eyeshadows aren't super shimmery, like they're coming off like they are, but they're not super shimmery. Um, there is fallout with this palette. Uh, this highlight shade is a little bit chalky, but still usable. And um, overall, you know, totally worth the dollar. Another Malibu Glitz um, palette, I got same thing. This one's called Glam Muse. Once again, you got darker shades, a bright pop of color. Um, the highlight is kind of like matte. Um, now with brushes though, it is kind of hard to get in this tiny little bit of space. The, um, I will say on any palette like this, they are hard to maneuver into with a brush and stuff, but it is doable. And I do like that there is an assortment of like shimmery and kind of satin and matte in here as well as the other one. And this made for a beautiful look as well, so definitely check that out. Che definitely check this Malibu Glitz brand out on the website. last but not least is my favorite palette that I got this is from Santi and it's um, shadow lover they had about four of these to choose from and I got this one because of that beautiful red in there I can't but um, it did come with sponge tip applicators and my, one of my favorite things about this palette is as you can tell some of these eyeshadows are matte some of them are shimmery and so you get a mix so um, you can use this one as a highlight. So I like that, that if a palette has at least one shade you can use for highlight. There's some transition colors in there. There is a very nice matte black in there. Look at this red there. Oh yeah. These are a little bit powdery. And of course you're, you got fallout with them. But no big deal. There's some powder under your eye. Um, you can do lots of different smoky eyes as well as colorful eye with this. The possibilities are endless. This one is very shimmery and I just, I love that one. I use that one in my tutorial. And I was pleasantly surprised with this palette here. I just really love the matte shades in here as well. I love everything about this particular palette. They're all very nicely pigmented. And for a dollar, you get 12 shades in there that are all pigmented. And so what if they are a little bit powdery? But it's a super nice combination of shimmery and mattes to endless combination of looks with this particular palette. Now this one was called like, it says number two, but I think on the website they're referring to this one as just Lover. And all these Shadow Lover palettes from Santi, I have, um, you can tell on the website, have a combination of mattes and shimmery shades. And like I said, I just cannot get over having a highlight, transition color, outer corner colors, and pop of colors, colors as well in here. So, oh my goodness, this is definitely worth a, tr um, a dollar. And Get to check the description box for links to shopmissay.com as well as the brush review as well as tutorials using all these products and uh, stay tuned for more shopmissay.com hauls 
and reviews. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it helpful. And definitely check out shopmose.com.